don't know. I did this the last time and I don't remember. <laughs> and then That's true. Yeah, I did it the last time and then I don't remember how I found it. Okay, can you see it? I can, yes. All right, I don't, hopefully I'll remember. I don't even know. It doesn't matter. I'm so tired. Anyways, I think this continues, but the problem is does it continue right away is Monday, and if it takes till Tuesday, then you've lost two more days, and then then you probably would have made the same as you made now unless it had a big move, which I do think it's going to the number. I mean, I think low today was 156 something, 156.20, you know, and I did say, actually, this was not, I just want to show you, this really wasn't what I wanted this to do, to be honest with you, but because of the yeah. market today, and you know what I'm saying? Like, I just thought that that was probably the best thing for everybody to do on all shorts. But I mean, this is not what I really wanted to see. And I still think that Facebook is going to do what I'm thinking it's going to. It, but, it, but what if it doesn't by Monday or Tuesday? Like, it, what if it takes till the end of next week? You'll be way too stressed out. And then with the time value loss, and then to be up, you know, nine grand or whatever, that would just be ridiculous. Just be stressed out for three, two, three, four days. That would just be too much stress. Yes. I guess. I guess the big lesson here is that you can you can take profits. You can add to some of the good trades. You can make more than you think that you can in something that really, when you look at it, when you look at it from the day that I called the trade here to the move we had, it's not like. It's not like Costco today. Do you know what I'm yeah. saying? It's not like it fell off a planet. Like that's what I'm saying. This really didn't fall off a planet yet. But but if you still had a massive amount of profit, and so you can do that if, if you if you if you play it on outright and you weren't a pig about it. You held it down through, but you this wasn't a pig target. And again, I I don't want you to be upset with it if it does go and you could have made twenty grand, and you only ended up making nine because nine thousand dollars is still nine thousand dollars. And any until you, until the trade is off, you you could lose. And I'm not. This wouldn't have lost, but I'm just saying. Do you know what I'm saying? I, I do. It, it gets to the point where you are sitting here watching it, and I mean, I I think I probably lost a thousand in the bev bounce. I gave it. I gave it a little bit of room to maneuver. What do you but mean? Where before you got out? You mean you were up almost ten? Or what do you mean? I, I was. I, I did see ten flick on the screen, but it's incredibly difficult to get out, like you said before, at the number. I mean, I was wary when I saw the market dropping, quite, you know, quite considerably, and Facebook had turned in the other direction. So I was very wary at that point that it was seeing a little bit of, you know, a little bit of strength in itself to for obviously me to lose money in my option and that's when I, I decided that if it went over a certain level then I would take it which is what I did yeah I think that was perfectly fine I think that was perfectly fine and I just wanted to tell you that today but I just wanted to show you in the chart this was not this was not the move that I was exp describing to you today so you were emailing me about the slidey board this wasn't it so, you know, just know that for future looking at it. And I'm not saying you look at taking a target that way. I'm just saying that it's interesting that this, this, this is a very profitable trade and worked, but it really, you know, didn't fall off a plan in here yet. I, st I still think this does. And, you know, I don't know what the market does on Monday, but I, just, I think this was a good exit. I think it was a good experiment for you. I think you managed it well, and I'm glad you got out today. And I'm, I'm glad, you know, I'm glad you had a good, a good day. I mean, you can move forward now into earnings season, and and you should be able to do well. Yes, thank you. Yes, yes. It. Uh, I, I when I watched it, I was very wary of what you said about it falling straight off. And there were some decent sized bars, but it didn't go in that, you know, swift action, which is what I was looking for no, and that's no, why i was, was wary of, yeah. of losing the profit well considering did, the market considering the market I, you know i was a little surprised so considering the market you know when you look at the market today and you think well but i still think that this goes so you know whatever it you know costco it took a while to get going to but then complete that's the slidey board there's the slidey board so I, you know, that you probably could have held a little bit later too, but it was okay that you took it. It went down to two seventeen something, which is crazy. I, I literally then I knew it was going to keep going, and I thought this is probably going to go to two fifteen, and it and it literally would have if it wouldn't have yes. been four o'clock. 
Yes. It didn't even bounce till 3.30. I mean, the very that, last 30 minutes of the day is the only yes, time but that it Yes, that was nice. Price, that was nice movement, wasn't it? When you look at that yeah. chart, it flowed. Look at that. yeah. Facebook Perfect. didn't quite go the same, you know, the same smooth way, did it? So can you imagine if you can get on track with everything and if you had had the risk in Costco and really played that hard, oh, yes. what you would have made in that today in one day, but you were invested in the Facebook. So that's a learning lesson. So you will get the big trains and you can play something hard like this and make something more out of it that didn't go as big and fast and quick as fast as you wanted to and then you'll be able to do ones like this and take more risks because this was all in one day and you could have had a huge day all in one day and played it on hard but you would have do you know what i'm saying but you got to get back on track and i think facebook i think that trade's going to get you back on track just think about the things that i said because you were all over in your head about again pullbacks and all this other stuff which honestly honestly flip you do not need you do not need to be looking at those things clearly this was a great call today. I mean, look at this was a great call today. Well, I, I mean, I saw that that fifteen minute turn, and I was tempted to take a day trade position on that. Yeah. And I held off, and I am, uh, and I, even now okay. I'm thinking, yeah. why did I hold off that? It was setting up, and I could because have easily hit the with 100 shares. Probably. You know. Yeah, because you weren't on a Facebook, and you were, you know, you were watching that and watching that, so it's fine. yeah. But I had my day trade platform up as well because I was watching the time and sales run, and I was, <laughs> and that that just, you know, that just fell away nicely. That's fine. All right. Have a great weekend. Congratulations. I think you did Thank the you. right thing, and we'll look for more of these for you. That will be great. <laughs> Thank you All very right. much. Have a good weekend. You too. Have Thank you. Bye bye.